Hey guys, this is Steve Stolacci, and this is a kind of a walkthrough of something that I discovered with the HX Stomp that I'm using and that I would use on the road. Um, I'm using a song that I actually do play on tour with Jessica Lynn. We play this every show, and I'm using my HX Stomp in snapshot mode. So it's important that you're set up with your snapshots, and if you are touring or playing in a band that... Uh, plays a consistent set list, or at least has a predetermined set list, this is definitely something that can benefit you and you could definitely use. Or if you have that one song that needs a couple of different things. It's not easy to gig with this thing because it has such, uh, you know, small, it has such limits on it because of the three uh, snapshots. But this is going to be my workaround, so if I ever needed to play a gig with just this, I can get away with it. And it's definitely possible, it just takes a little bit of programming and a little bit of thinking and you can get there. So, this song, the structure of the song is an intro, a verse, chorus, intro, verse, chorus, then it goes to a guitar solo, a chorus, and then a riffing chorus where Jessica's singing and she's going back and forth with me on the guitar playing lead lines while she's singing. From there, it goes back into another intro to end the song. So on my big helix, I have snapshots for all of these preset and I have enough foot switches that I can get away with all this. So I had to think about how I can get away with this in the stomp and I haven't seen this around yet. So I figured it'd be a good idea to show you guys what I have going. So I have here preset number 34A. So you want to make sure that you are numbering this properly. So whatever number it is doesn't really make any difference, but you need to make sure that it's A, B, and C or A and B, whichever it is for the song that you're doing. So for After Party, I'm gonna use two separate presets. And what I really did was I just copied one preset into two slots. So I took my bass sound that I always use for this song and I just copied it over. So I'll show you how to do that here. You're just gonna hit. So what I did there is I hit the save and now you're gonna look, you see where it says 34A After Party 1 and you're just gonna twist the bottom knob. So you want one to be on an A and one to be on a B. The number doesn't matter because that's gonna be your set list, but you need the first part of the song to be in an A, second part to be in a B, and if you need a third, it's gotta be in C. So I'm not gonna do it because I already have it set. So I have it programmed two identical presets back to back, and I'm just gonna change within snapshots within those. So here I have the intro riff, and this is, again, the same one that I use on the road. This is my intro riff. From the intro, we're gonna go to a verse. we're going to go into a chorus. So this third snapshot is now my chorus sound. So now that'll get me through most of the song. Intro verse chorus, intro verse chorus, no problem. So the second chorus leads into a guitar solo. So how I'm getting to my guitar solo, um, I got my chorus here. And now while I'm playing this chorus, so I'm going to be playing the chorus, I'm going to hit these two, these two buttons at the same time. I'm going to hit them both. And I have this button up, this, uh, this menu comes up. So I can still play. And this is still my same chorus sound. So that you could do this whenever you're comfortable doing it. So say it's right in the middle of it or an early part of it where I'm comfortable enough to be able to play and tap at the same time. If you're playing with a pedal board anyway, you should be more than comfortable stepping on this while you're playing. So the blinking menu is now my options. So now I have after party two, if you look there. And now the preset is going to go automatically go to the first snapshot. The snapshot that I saved it on is my guitar solo. 
So this is my second chorus into my guitar solo. I'm playing the so I'm playing the the chorus rather playing the chorus yada yada yada. So now it's time for me to go to the solo. And then from there, I'd go into my guitar solo. I don't want to, I don't need to play the whole thing. I'm just showing you guys how to set this up. So after that guitar solo, it goes back into another chorus. So now this middle snapshot becomes my chorus sound again. The same snapshot that was on the snapshot three on the previous preset. So now that was after party one. This is now after party two. So now this is my chorus. <laughs> And now from that chorus, I go into a riffing outro with Jess. Here's my snapshot for that. It's like my guitar solo one, but the volume's a little bit down and I, uh, I darkened it a little bit so it stays out of the way of her vocal. Now from that outro, or not, I, I shouldn't call it an outro, from that riffing chorus, I now have to go back to an intro. So while I'm doing my, my thing, you know, I'm gonna step on these and now it's gonna blink again. So while I'm playing my outro solo, I know an intro is coming up, so I have this blinking. And now once it's time to hit that, I'm gonna hit back to after party one, which where I previously saved it is on the intro. And I'm out. So I was able to cycle through uh, six different snapshots without really losing any time. So just to show you guys what the difference is here, let's go from a chorus sound. And now, see if there's any type of gap going into my solo. slight hiccup but nothing that anybody's ever going to notice it's really not a big gap honestly that little that little tiny little latency that happens i don't think anyone's ever going to notice that plus it happens in this song where i have a little bit of a rest so i just have to make sure that i hit that right on the rest and it should be fine um again hitting the switches is really no problem because if you're using a pedal board you should be able to handle this so i don't look at this as a downfall at all i think this is actually a pretty pretty good way of using this and a really easy way to get your full use out of the HX stomp.